Hello, I am Anthony and today I want to show you the TC PowerCore VST plugin package from TC Electronic. This package is a collection of almost 40 VST effect plugins and 3 VST instruments. Most of them are based on real hardware devices and in the next few videos I will give you a short introduction to the plugin package, the whole PowerCore system in general. Unlike other VST plugins, the TC plugins need a special hardware device to run and doesn't use the host CPU of your computer. This hardware device is called the TC PowerCore. This is a Generation 1 PowerCore PCI card. The PowerCore was released in 2003 and meanwhile in 2016 it's a discontinued product which can only bought second hand. This video will provide you with all the necessary information to get a second hand power core work with your system. I will show you the difference between the 9 hardware models and the second hand price range for each model. The power core hardware is available for PCI, PCI Express and the Firewire bus. The hardware contains specialty speed chips which will be used by the TC plugins for the plugin calculation. This standard device comes with 4 DSP chips. Multiple instances of a TC plugin can be loaded or mixed along with other TC plugins. The amount how much a TC plugin uses resources of a DSP is different. For instance, EQs and compressors using much less DSP resources than reverbs or synthesizers. Let me show you this principle with this little animation. In standard situations, all the calculation will be processed by the host CPU. The VST performance bar shows you how much resources of the host CPU is being used by the VST plugins. In the moment it is showing nothing because no VST plugin has been loaded until we begin to load a channel strip. You can see the plugin reserves some of the CPU resources for its calculation. When we continue loading plugins the performance bar will raise. Here is synth a compressor and a sampler. When you load more plugins than your host CPU can handle, the CPU gets overloaded and the sound begins to stutter. Let's repeat the initial situation, but now also a TC PowerCore hardware is installed. Loading your native plugins again doesn't change the situation because all native plugins will continue using the host CPU and ignore the power core hardware. But if you load the TC plugins, then the host CPU will be ignored and the plugin calculation will be processed by the DSPs on the power core. If for instance the voice strip, which reserves 31% resources on DSP1. The next plugin is a synthesizer, the Access Virus. This plugin requires one complete DSP alone and since on DSP1 are no free resources available, the virus will use DSP2. The last plugin is VSS3, a System 6000 reverb. There are still enough required resources available on DSP1, so it will use DSP1 first before using DSP3 or 4. The TC plugins also reserve some resources of the host CPU for the graphics and the interface. Of course, the resources of the power core is limited. TC plugins can be loaded as long as there are enough required DSP resources available for this plugin. If you need more TC plugin instances than your single power core can handle, you have to add another power core hardware to your system with a new set of DSPs. You can mix all models together. Four cards internally along with one external device is possible. They work perfect together, but for a stable usage don't install more than four power core devices in your system. Here you can see my power core setup and how it looks like in the power core device manager. As you can see I have two internal PCI cards and one external device installed, but I tell you more about the different power core models later. Around 2003, the time the power core came out, it was expensive. The cheapest model, like this first generation power core element card here, at a price of 599 euros. And the top model of this time, this second generation power core firewire, was at 1499. 
The TC plugins itself are not given away for free either, but almost each model unlocks up to 14 of the TC standard plugins which covers all basic tools for mixing like EQs, compressors, channel strip, reverbs and other useful tools. With today's advanced development and price fall of native VC plugins, some of the plugins in this basic package are technically a bit outdated, but still are useful and sounds good. Besides the basic plugins, the licenses for the optional plugins are sold separately, starting by 249 euro up to 1299 euro for the top system 6000 ports. To buy a license, you had to create a PowerCore account at DC's website first. In your account, you had to register your PowerCore hardware by its serial number and the unique PowerCore ID. Board licenses showed up directly into your account. The only thing you had to do is to assign the license to a PowerCore ID, download the registry file and execute it on the computer your PowerCore is installed. This process had to be done just once. This registry file unlocks the plugin forever on the PowerCore, even if you connect it to another computer. Because of the high price tag, lack of sales and massive driver problems, especially with the Firewire models, TC dropped the development of the PowerCore hardware and plugins in 2011. 2012, in the end of the PowerCore era, TC sold all optional plugins with a discount of 80% in the last big sale. Even some of the exact ports of their 10,000 euro system 6000 which makes the TC PowerCore still very valuable today. Since then it's not possible to buy optional licenses from TC anymore. The PowerCore device drivers are still ported by the PowerCore engineers to modern operating systems. At the time I've done this video, drivers are available on the PC platform for Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, both 32 and 64-bit. The plugins itself stay 32-bit. So if you use a 64-bit sequencer, you have to bridge the plugins with a bridge software like JBridge on PC or 32 Lives on a Mac. Generally, all the hardware devices work stable. The internal devices works a bit better. To bring the external Firewire devices to work flawlessly on the PC platform, you have to buy a dedicated Firewire controller like the Davi Control DC FW800 and use the legacy 1394 driver in Windows Device Manager. But even then you will have to restart your system from time to time. Also there are small issues with low latency and some audio cards drivers in connection with the power core which uses the Firewire port. If you experience problems with TC plugins showing up disabled suddenly, you should switch to ASIO for all driver or raise the samples of your audio card to 1024. On Mac OS X the situation is a bit different. Since Apple changed the PCI specifications in OS X as a Thunderbolt update, there are some serious problems to get PowerCore PCI and PCI Express to work. So Mac users should stick to the Firewire models or use an older Mac OS X software version. There are 9 different PowerCore models and I will show you each model in detail. At first, the PowerCore element. If you are new to PowerCore and plan to buy your first one, you better stay away from all first generation PowerCore PCI models. These devices are full of disadvantages. You can identify a generation 1 card by its full length and light green board. 9 of the 40 TC plugins are unlocked for this card. First generation PowerCore models use a different license system than second generation. To get the optional plugins to work, you need a special installer file for each optional plugin. To prevent piracy, these installers are bound to the PowerCore ID and were generated by the TC license servers. Here's an example how these first generation installers look like. You see, each plugin comes with an ID. This is the PowerCore ID the plugin is registered to. 
Since I don't have the required card installed, these three plugins won't work with my installed power cores. Unfortunately, TC closed the license servers for Generation 1 cards at the end of 2013. You are not able to activate any of the optional plugins on these cards anymore. And if someone sells you a Generation 1 card with optional plugins, make sure you cut his installers for the optional plugins generated by the TC license servers. Please stay away from statements like There's an original installation CD inside or Oh yes, I have them registered, but uh, sorry, I lost the Windows and the Mac OS X installers, but I'm sure TC support can help you out here. All I can say is, no, they can't. Besides the license struggles, there are a few more disadvantages. Much weaker DSP performance compared to a second generation power core, meaning you can load to 30% less plugins. Also on PC, it adds a 10 second delay to your Windows boot time. Hardware failures because of faulty capacitors. If your card is failing and it smells funny at the capacitors, then you can try to repair it by replacing this faulty guys. There's also no demo time for optional plugins. The 9 unlock plugins are just the very basic plugins and not all available PowerCore plugins works with Generation 1 cards. So which plugins are unlocked for the element? The TC EQSAT, a 5 band EQ with tube saturation, TC chorus delay, a chorus effect or a simple delay or a flanger effect, the TC voice strip, a complete channel strip with tube EQ, tube compressor, gate, low cut and deesser. 24-7C, a vintage compressor, TC Mega Reverb, a high-end and very flexible reverb, Classic Verb, a modeled high-end studio plate reverb, Tube Effects, a tube amplifier, the PowerCore CL, a compressor with a limiter stage, and at last PowerCore 01, an SH-101 modeled synthesizer emulation. The next model is the PowerCore PCI for the PCI bus. The hardware of the PCI and the element is the same. Sometimes it comes with a RAM holder on the left corner. TC planned once to use it as RAM expansion for reverb and delay plugins. This never happened, so it has no use, even if you insert a RAM module here. The main difference between this one and the element card, it has one more plugin bundled. The TC Master X3, a 3-band multiband compressor finalizer mastering tool. Even with Master X3, which is indeed a great addition, you better look for a second generation power core like this PowerCore MK2 PCI. This is a standard power core model for the PCI bus. It is smaller, it has 50% more powerful DSPs than the first generation power core, and it has a better license system which adds some demo time to our optional plugins to try them out. Also, it's still possible to activate used licenses sold by other PowerCore owners, but keep in mind, this works only with this second generation PowerCore hardware and also an additional fee has to be paid to TC for the license transfer. All 10 plugins from the first generation PowerCore PCI are unlocked for this card, plus 4 additional TC plugins. Character, a combined compressor EQ, which is able to add more presence to vocals or an instrument in a mix. Dynamic EQ, a dynamic controlled 4-band EQ, you can trigger a EQ curve with an external signal. Denoise, a restoration plugin to eliminate any kind of noise out of noisy recordings. And at last, Filtroid, two analog LFO controlled filter modules. Here you see the difference between the PowerCore Element and the PowerCore PCI MK2. And here how it looks like installed in a PC system. The function of this port on the Element is unknown. My thoughts, it's used as a service port or for diagnosis by the TC support. This is the PowerCore Unplugged the same hardware like the PowerCore PCI MK2, the only difference it comes with no bundled plugins, so no plugin is unlocked on this hardware and all plugins runs with demo time. TC wanted to sell this card as DSP extender, 
for a cheaper price to existing power co-owners. So be careful, if someone offers you his PCI MK2, ask for the model first. You are not able to see a difference between this card and the normal MK2 which comes bundled with the plugins. Of course, it is possible to unlock optional plugins on this card, except the 14 standard plugins which comes only with the full version of the PCI MK2. The PowerCore Express is the same model like the PCI MK2, but this time for the PCI Express bus. It has the same features and plugins unlocked like the MK2, so nothing much more to say here. Now let's take a look on the external models. The PowerCore Compact is the weakest model of all external power cores. Basically, it has the same features and plugins like the PowerCore MK2, but only two DSP chips installed instead of four. Sometimes it comes bundled with the Access Virus plugin and the Restoration Suit. The PowerCore Firewire is the external version of the PowerCore MK2 for the Firewire bus with the same features and plugins. The PowerCore X8 is the flagship model of the PowerCore featuring 8 DSP instead of 4. Otherwise, it has the same features and unlocked plugins like every second generation PowerCore. Some units are bundled with the Sonox Oxford EQ compressor plugin bundle. But the Sonox plugins don't use the PowerCore license system and has to be activated with iLock. The X8 model performs very well. Basically, TC put two MK2 devices in a hardware shell and it also shows up as two devices in the device manager. It is reported if the hardware begins to fail, one of the two devices keeps failing more and more until it's not showing up anymore forever. Finally, the last model is the PowerCore 6000. It is basically a PowerCore X8 including the 14 standard plugins plus all available System 6000 ports unlocked. The installation of the PowerCore is very easy. Just insert the PCI cards or connect the FireWire devices with the FireWire cable to your system. Then go to the TC Electronic website Scroll down and click on Support Portal, Discontinued Products, then Power Core. Scroll down again and click on Software and Manuals. Here you can choose the software package for PC and Mac OS X. You only have to download this package here. All drivers and plugins are included. You can also download a manual for your Power Core. A look into the Device Manager shows my fresh installed Power Cores as unknown devices. Now I will install the downloaded software package. After the installation, a reboot of the system is necessary. After the system reboot, the power cores will show up in the device manager. Now I will open the power core control panel to see if both cards are recognized and working. And at last I will turn on my external X8 to see if it's also working. Important note, if you turn on an external power core after your system is already loaded, you have to reboot your system once more Otherwise, it could happen that your external power core is not working correctly. Here you can see, Cubis is registering the TC plugins, and after this, the power cores are ready to go. Since I don't have a Mac, I can't show you the installation here, but I'm sure the Mac installation is not much different. Now let's take a look at the power core control panel. On the status page, you see how many power cores you have installed. At the moment I have turned off my X8 so it's not showing up. You also see here how many resources of a DSP is used. Here is the model of the power core. You see I have a PCA MK2 and a power core unplugged. Also with different power core IDs which are important later for the licenses. On the plugins page you see a list of all TC plugins available and installed for the power core. Also you can see the license status. Since I have a PowerCore MK2 installed, all 14 TC standard plugins shows as bundled and all other optional plugins shows as trial with demo time. Now I will turn on my external X8 again, which holds almost all full TC licenses for the PowerCore and now you see how every plugin gets unlocked and the plugins are also unlocked for my both internal PCI cards until I turn off the PowerCore X8 again. 
On the last page you find the system information about the installed software and drivers. Also you can adjust settings of how plugins are loaded on the power core hardware. And when you experience problems with sound records, you can also increase the buffer size of the power core, but keep in mind that will also increase the latency of the TC plugins. Now I will show you the TC plugins and how they sound. Because most of them are tools for mastering and each track and musical taste is different, I will just show you the very basic, but hopefully enough that you can get an impression about the quality of the plugins. The TC EQSAT Custom The TC EQSAT Custom is a 5-band EQ with soft saturation. You can adjust the low shelf, the high shelf and three independent bands. You can unlink the stereo here and adjust the left and the right channel independently. This is the amount of soft saturation which can be turned on and off. Here you can change the bandwidth of each band. And this works also with the high and the low shelf. Now a sound example. That your life is our life. I'm operating my fantasy. Power is on, open up your eyes. Give me a hand, wanna play with me. You lift me up, you get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time, so unreal. Your intensity is given a thing to me. That your life is our life. I'm operating my fantasy. Power is on, open up your eyes. Give me a hand, wanna play with me. You lift me up, you get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time, so unreal. Your intensity is given a fair to me. TC PowerCore CL. This is a compressor with a limiter stage. In the compressor stage, we have all the important controllers for the compressor. High threshold, ratio, attack and release. And in the limiter stage we have soft saturation which can be turned on and off. Also the threshold, release and sealing. There's a side chaining input available for the compressor, but how side chaining works I will show you later with the dynamic EQ. Now listen to some examples. The TC Voice Strip. The TC Voice Strip is a complete channel strip. It has all the important components like a 3 band voice EQ, also with soft saturation, a compressor which can be switched before or after the EQ. Because most of them are tools for mastering and each track and for the deep frequencies like walk, I will just show you the very basic, but also a gate that you can get an impression about the quality of the plugin. And at last, a deesser, which has also a monitor feature to listen to the filtered frequencies. Let's listen to the TC Voice Strip.
Virtual life is our life. I'm operating my fantasy. Virtual life is our life. I'm operating my fantasy. Power is on, open up your eyes. Give me a hint, wanna play with me? You lift me up, you get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time, so unreal. Your intensity is given a threat to me. Virtual life is our life. Give me a hint, wanna play with me? You lift me up, you get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time, so unreal. Your intensity is given a threat to me. The 24-7C Vintage Compressor The 24-7C is modeled after a real hardware device and has a very analog sound. You can adjust the input and output gain, the attack and the release. Also, there are knobs for the different ratios. And at last, the display can also be configured. Let's take a listen. The TC Chorus Delay The TC Chorus Delay is a multi-effect plugin. It has a chorus module, which can also be a flanger, and a simple monophonic delay for short delay times. Here you can adjust the delay time, but not longer than 500 milliseconds. This is a delay feedback. The delay time can be set ultra short for metallic robotic effects. This is a chorus feedback, which can be adjusted by speed, depth and phase in this 360 degrees, making the sound wider in the stereo field. And at last, a high cut filter. Now the sound examples. Losing you, felt like leaving me. Hurt me, haunt me, deny me. Hurt me, haunt me, deny me. Hurt me, haunt me, deny me. Losing you felt like leaving me. What else? 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 The TC Classic Verb. The Classic Verb is a plate reverb modeled after a well-known hardware reverb. 
It has just only a few controls like pre-delay, reverb amount, reverb length, the reverb character in form of modulation, the frequencies the reverb is colored by the modulation, and at last a high cut filter. Like native plugins, TC plugins also generate some latency. This is not useful when you want to do a live recording and support the vocal with some reverb. For this, the power core has a no latency mode. You can activate it by clicking on the power core symbol. When it's glowing red, it's activated. But no latency comes with a price. This process also uses much of the host CPU's processing power. So you better turn it on when you really need it. Now let's take a listen to the reverb sound. Vidier Enuinu Anor, it ilit area, alpha dar liena e fase kin finarfin. Ya gala pedu yo aman. In edis ya varta dum, hadna yo aman sadan, ayna yo nida. Vidier Enuinu Anor, it ilit area, alpha dar liena e fase kin finarfin. Ya gala pedu yo aman. It is your love, and I will be there. It is your love, and I will be there. It is your love, and I will be there. It is your love, and I will be there. It is your love, Vitier Enuinu Anor, it ilit area, alpha dar liena e fase kin finarfin. Ya gala pedu yo aman, in edis ya vata dar tu, hadna yo aman sasana, hadna yo aman sasana. Vitier Enuinu Anor, it ilit area, Alpha dar liena e fase kin finarfin. Ya gala pedu yo aman. In edis ya varta dar tu, hadna yo aman sasana, hadna yo aman sasana. Vitier Enuinu Anor, it ilit area, alpha dar liena e fase kin finarfin. Ya gala pedu yo aman. In edis ya varta rad duven, hadna din athanista ban, 
Ainai uem dire dar. Ide eum anu. Ilit eria. Alfa dar liena e fase kin fin ar fin. Ea gara vedui o aman. In edis ia vartar ad duen. Harnad in athan nesta ban. Ainai uem dire dar. Ide eum anu. Ilit eria. Alfa dar liena e fase kin fin ar fin. E a gara vedui o aman. In edis ia vartar ad duen. Har nad in athan nesta ban. Ainai uem dire dar. Sekin fin ar fin. Ea gara vedui o aman. In edis ia vartar ad duen. Har nad in athan nesta ban. Ai nai uem dire dar. Vidier eunu inu anor. It ilit eria. Alfa dar liena e fase kin fin ar fin. Ea gara vedui o aman. In edis ia vartar ad duen. Har nad in athan nesta ban. Ai nai uem dire dar. The TC Mega Reverb The classic verb was a plate emulation, the Mega Reverb is a room emulation. It's much more flexible than the classic verb, can choose different room types, also the size of the room. This is a high cut filter. and the frequency of the reverb's delay, which is adjustable in three bands. Here's the pre-delay, the reverb's amount, the stereo width, and the room reflections from stone to carpet. Let's listen to some of the examples.
To be fix. Tube Effects is a virtual tube amplifier for guitars and other material. I will show you the effect on vocals and on a guitar recording. Wind and rain have turned to shadows what we had in our arms it fell behind onto the ground no longer stable when we found out Wind and rain have turned to shadows was we had in our arms it fell behind onto the ground no longer stable when we found out Wind and rain have turned to shadows was we had in our arms it fell behind onto the ground no longer stable Wind and rain have turned to shadows what we had In our arms it fell behind Onto the ground no longer stable When we found out The Power Core 01 is the only instrument in the Power Core package. It is a monophonic synthesizer modeled after an SH-101.
TC Master X3 The TC Master X3 is a multiband compressor finalizer plug-in. It has three adjustable bands, an expander, a compressor and a limiter stage. Also a DISA function is included. There are also some presets which can be used as starter for mastering. To get an impression how this plug-in works, I will change the parameters live on the next playback, but at first the playback without the plugin. Character is a combination of a Q and a compressor and it adds more presence to vocals or other materials. It has just a few controls. The input and the output gain, the target, which controls the amount of leveling, three different Q-like presets and also the big knob here controls the amount how much the plugin has an effect on the material. Let's demonstrate it with the vocal inside a mix, but first the vocal alone.
The true life is our life. I'm operating my fantasy. Power is on. Open up your eyes. Give me a hint. Wanna play with me? You lift me up. You get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time. So unreal. Your intensity is given a threat to me. Life is our life. I'm operating my fantasy. Power is on. Open up your eyes. Give me a hint. Wanna play with me? You lift me up. You get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time. So unreal. Your intensity is given. Die Noise. Die Noise is a part of the TC Powercore Restoration Bundle. It is able to eliminate all kind of noise out of noisy recordings. I will show you this in this little example. Welcome. My name is Anthony and this is Era 2 Medieval Legends, a VSD instrument by Eduardo Tarilonte. Welcome, my name is Anthony and this is Era 2 Medieval Legends, a VSD instrument by Eduardo Tarilonte. My name is Anthony and this is Era 2 Medieval Legends, a VSD instrument by Eduardo Tarilonte. Filtroid Filtroid has two analog filter stages, filter 1 and filter 2. Both can be controlled by two different LFOs, here LFO1 and LFO2. Also this plugin has a distortion stage. Let me show you some of the presets. That's a The true life is alive. I'm operating my phone to see. Powers on open up your eyes. Give me a hand, wanna play with me? You lift me up. You get me high. You carry me far out ahead of my time, so unreal. I'm pushing forward your universe Never look back what is left behind You got the meaning of your offense You lift me up, you're breaking free You carry me far and you're driving me So unreal, your intensity is given Dynamic EQ The Dynamic EQ is a very neutral sounding 4-band EQ, which has some functions from a compressor, so the behavior can be controlled with an external signal with sidechain. I will show you this in this little example. I have a background music and want to do a voiceover. Normally, I would trigger a compressor with my voice to lower the volume of the music, but this causes noticeable changes in the volume of the music. So, I will trigger the EQ to lower the mid, so the voice has more room and it sounds more even. 
In the next example you hear both tracks without effects applied. This is a sequel to Error 1 which included 45 medieval instruments and Error 2 contains all the content of Error 1 and also adds 25 new instruments to the library. Some of the instruments You hear, the vocals don't fit really inside the music, so I will change it now. I will put the TC Sidechainer plugin on the track with the vocals and name it Vocals. And next I put the sand of the plugin at plus 12. Now I put the dynamic EQ on my music background track. I turn on the external sidechain Now I choose band 2 and lower the mids I have to trigger the sidechain to external and change the EQ type from static to dynamic Now the setup is ready, let's start the track again And Forest Kingdom This is a sequel to Error 1 which included 45 medieval instruments and Error 2 contains all the content of Error 1 and also adds 25 new instruments to the library. Some when the EQ is turned on, then the vocal fits better with the background and when it's bypassed, you hear the sound is a little bit unbalanced. Here ends the first part of the power core guide. In the next video I will show you the optional plugins like the Access Virus or the TC6000 ports and some other really great voice tools. And if you don't want to miss this video, please subscribe to our channel and we would also be happy if you give us a thumbs up. For now I say thank you for watching, my name is Anthony and this was your guide to PowerCore hardware and plugins.